Welcome to Seller Rat TV with your host, the Seller Rat, Addison Rex. Today on the program, we've got Master Barrel Cooper, Francis Durand, joining us, and he's going to be showing us how to repair a barrel. So enjoy. There's seven hours hosted here at Deerfield, and uh, it's quite long, so I'm going to be broadcasting this over a couple weeks. So um, without any further ado, enjoy. Uh, barrel. Almost everybody knows what is barrel, but sometimes we forget or we don't know how they are made and uh, with what kind of material. So it's a good thing to remember, it's, it's wood. That means it's a very unstable material. It's not plastic or glass, it's wood. And it's unstable, that means if it's not stored and uh, always the same temperature, the same humidity, full of liquid, the wood is going to move everywhere. So that's why sometimes it's leaking, sometimes it's stopped and later, a few months later, start again for a few days and because the environment change, so the wood change. And they are made with several pieces of wood and just put against each other. No glue, no nail, nothing. It's just wood against wood and hold together with the hook. So that's why sometimes you have to expect some surprise. Uh, there is two reasons why it's leaking. Sometimes it's because the assembling is not well done or the barrel is too dry and need help to get back in the right shape. So you do that by pounding down the hoop and tightening all the pieces of wood together. And most of the time everything goes back straight. Or it's because the wood by itself. The wood is a porous material and uh, sometimes the liquid goes inside the wood and find a way to get outside the barrel by a knot, by a crack, by uh, a bad uh, grain, a bad capillary of the wood. So most of the time we can stop that if it's not too big. It's not coming through the wood like that and just pop up outside. The grain, the, the wood is made of capillary and those capillary are most of the time parallel to the to the stave but sometimes they are just a little bit sideways like that one you can see the wood here so that means if it's leaking here the one is not it's not coming like that through it's coming from here and it goes out here so that's why even if we test the barrel in the cooperage before we ship the barrel to you and it's not leaking but it takes several months sometimes to get outside that's the way it goes 
so what we need to do to fix that is to plug that capillary. Just remember the wood is like a bunch of straws. And if it's French oak, those straws are open. If it's American oak, it's, it's closed. So it's because they're soft cut? Because of the structure of the wood. So that's why the French oak is more porous than the American oak. So what we need to do is to put something to plug that. So what we do we make some wedges of wood and we have just to put inside like like that one. Like that, you cut the grain, you cut the capillary, you plug it, and it stops. So now you have to find out which way it's coming, like that or like that. You can see it's not always easy. Or if you take that stair here, here the grain is coming like that. So if it's leaking here, you are going to put the wedge. Here. See this uh, side of the stem. You need. You see only the the outside. So sometimes it's hard to tell. But this one's less likely to leak than that one. Uh, yes, but that you never know. Yeah. You are going to select all the nice pieces of wood like that at the beginning to make one barrel. At the end, you test it, it's leaking. And you have a palette of crap to make one barrel. At the end, it doesn't work. So, but that American oak. That's uh, American oak? Huh? Yeah, that's American oak. We will never try to make a barrel with a French oak like that anyway. That's because the grain is too Is that because they're split rather than sawed? Or is that <coughs> yes, and because it's American oak, so the capillaries are plugged inside. So even if there is a sharp distance between the inside, where is the wine, and here the outside, I see. it's not going to leak. If it was French, it, yeah, it would leak. It would leak. It must be parallel. So the French ones have to be split, otherwise they're yes, going to leak. Yes, split regarding and following the grain of the wood mm -hmm. and the American oak, it's a uh, quarter sole. Mm -hmm. So you cut the log, you take off the bark, the sap wood and the heart of the log and the rest, cut. everything is good, except if there is a crack or not. But if the wood is clean, everything is good. The French, no. The French takes about uh, four, four or five cubic meters of logs to make one cubic meters of stain. Really? Yeah. The rest is firewood. That's one reason they're more expensive. Yes. And the uh, the, the American oak with uh, to make one cubic meters of stain, you need uh, not even two uh, logs. Because Yes, is. even if it's. A mostly the same species, it's white oak, but it's not exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And the French and East European, it's, it's the same. Well... Is it the same all the way across uh, Europe into Asia? Like Chinese yes, wood yes, is going to yes. be the same? Even species. if uh, on the East, it's, it's uh, because in France there is two species, the Cecilia and the Robur. Penanculata. And uh, when you go to the East European area, it's mostly Penanculata. That's why the Central Europe tend to be more uh, tannin. That's more tannin than the. The species itself has more tannin. Yeah. 